Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Allied. Allied is directed by Robert Zemeckis, the film is written by Stephen Knight, and the film stars Brad Pitt and Marianne Cotillard. So Allied is about these two operatives who have feelings for each other and they have to act as a married couple when they are on a mission to assassinate the German ambassador in Casablanca, but when something doesn't go as planned, their relationship becomes tested. Now going into Allied, I was actually very very excited for this film because this is directed by one of my favorite directors of all time, Robert Zemeckis. I really do mean that. He is so underappreciated. I personally think he's one of the best working today and he is honestly one of the directors that got me into loving movies. So Robert Zemeckis is a director I admire so much and to look forward to a Robert Zemeckis movie for the second year in a row was a real treat to me. However, Stephen Knight isn't exactly a writer I'm a fan of because Locke, I do appreciate Locke for what it was, but it wasn't exactly a film I could see myself rewatching. The Hundred Foot Journey is the best script Stephen Knight has written so far, in my opinion. That is a criminally underrated movie, and if you really enjoy movies that deal with cooking, please check out The Hundred Foot Journey. And then he wrote Seventh Son, which is yeah it's something he also did write burnt which is a movie i did see in theaters but i just never got around to reviewing it for my channel but i thought it was okay for what he was trying to do so yeah burnt was it was all right and after seeing allied yeah unfortunately this was a very disappointing film and because of that, this is not exactly Robert Zemeckis' best work. This was actually very disappointing for a Robert Zemeckis film, especially when you compare it to Last Year's The Walk, which blew me away. And this film isn't exactly something I'm going to remember. Now look, here's the thing with Ally. It does look really good. The cinematography for the film is beautiful. Robert Zemeckis, as always, he does a great job directing this film. Every frame and ally is absolutely beautiful. And the action sequences, there's not a whole lot of them, but when the action sequences are there, they're very exciting. They're very interesting. The way Robert Zemeckis filmed the action sequences were just so engaged in my opinion. Brad Pitt and Marion Cotillard, they have very good chemistry with each other. They do work well with each other. And then I did like how old school Allied was. Like it was filmed in such an old school classic Hollywood fashion, which I always really appreciate when a director could film in that fashion. However, the issue I have with Allied is the pacing, especially the first 30 minutes. Now here's the interesting thing I'll say about Allied. This film is really, really boring for the first 30 minutes. I had a hard time getting into any scene in Allied. It wasn't until the first action sequence which doesn't even happen until 30 minutes in that I actually started to get into this film and then once that happened then allies start to become a roller coaster ride of interesting and boring because I'll be interested in one moment of Allied, but then I'll be bored by another moment. And then I'll be interested in one moment of this film, and then I'll be bored by another moment. It was very, very weird. Leading up to like the last, what, 10, 8 minutes of Allied, where I was fully engaged on what was going on and how this film ended, I definitely thought was very impressive. But that is the tough thing about Ally. And I get that they wanted to show us Brad Pitt and Marianne Cotillard fall in love with each other. But they don't have to show every single moment of their romance. I really don't think it was necessary. It really does make the film a total drag. With the first three minutes particularly. Like I said, after that, at least there were definitely moments where I was interested. But... Even after this twist is revealed, and it is revealed in the trailer, but I'm not going to reveal it out of courtesy for those that haven't watched the trailer for Allied and want to watch this movie not knowing really anything regarding that twist. But, you know, even after you get to this twist, you think that's where the film's really, really going to pick up. 
And it does then. It just becomes like most, if not half of the first half, where it's just a roller coaster ride of boring and interesting. And I even thought it was kind of visually heavy for a Robert Zemeckis movie. Like, I thought some of the CGI felt a little bit out of place. And even though Brad Pitt is really good in Allied, I did feel like he was very wooden in some moments. Not an the entire movie, but some moments of Allied, I thought he was rather wooden. That's really all I have to say about Allied, to be honest. I overall think it is disappointing. I was really looking forward to Allied because I'm a huge fan of Robert Zemeckis, and he definitely does try for what Stephen Knight gave him to do because Stephen Knight did write the script for this movie after all. It's not bad, it is okay, but I'm unfortunately gonna have to give Ally two and a half out of four stars. This is not a film I'm gonna remember. It is very well directed, but this just could have been better in my opinion. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Ally. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!